Hey guys, it's Music by Lucas, and check out this, uh... Hey, where's the subscribe pillow? Alright, now I'm just jealous. That's right, I got a new couch. You can do, like, so many things on this couch. You can, like, produce music on here, check out Mesto's response to the last video, even conduct interviews on this couch. What got you into EDM? Huge congrats to the Song of the Week 58 winner, Anish Changapa. His track, Fruit Juice, is sick. You gotta check it out. I'm gonna leave a link below. All right, so wow, this is the most votes I have ever gotten for an amazing artist video yet. Today's video is gonna be about Kirby. 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 Kirby! Let's get Kirby to watch his video today. Come on, we've gotten Mike Williams, Mesto, and Don Diablo to watch their videos. So you know what to do. Share this video on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Instagram. Tag Kirby's name, and let's see what he thinks of this video. And hopefully he'll watch. All right, guys, so let's talk about three things that make Kirby so amazing. First reason Kirby's so amazing is because he found his own sound. If you haven't heard Kirby's music, you need to stop this video, like, right now, and go to Kirby's SoundCloud, I'll put the link, and then come back and watch the rest. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, done waiting. Kirby seriously has an incredibly unique sound, and it is that sound that got him discovered. It's also that sound that continues to make him successful and continues to make other producers jealous. With finding your own sound being so important, let's talk a little bit more about how to do it. Kirby says his best advice is to start out by producing a well-known genre or a genre in which you're very familiar with because that way you know exactly what you want to produce. When you start doing that and your level production has improved quite a bit, Kirby recommends really starting to experiment and developing your own solid style. Being the same as everybody else is boring and making something new is so much better because this way Kirby says your music will never die out. He continues to say that while you're trying to adapt your own sound, if it starts to sound like it's too much like the regular genres and it's not really standing out, you've got to start all over again and be persistent. The second reason Kirby is so amazing is because of his production process. Kirby will spend hours working on the same one second long period of his track just to make sure that there's not any possible way it could sound any better. And it's this kind of dedication that helps Kirby raise the bar with his music. When asked how long it takes Kirby to complete a track, he said that it only takes about 24 hours for him to come up with the initial concept, but that it can take weeks before he has something more solid. Because of this, it helps a lot to be patient, especially if you're relatively new with production. Because really, you can't become instantly good at producing music. Kirby lives by four words. Persistence, passion, determination, and uniqueness. With persistence being the most important factor. Some other facts about Kirby is that he uses FL Studio to produce. Some plugins that we know that he uses are Nicky Romero's Kickstart, Massive, and D Blue Glitch. Now, what was Kirby's biggest inspiration to start producing something new and fresh? Well, interestingly enough, it was the same track as Mesto's, Gecko by Oliver Heldens. Pretty interesting. There must be something about that song. The third thing that makes Kirby so amazing is his branding. Everything about Kirby is different and unique. Even his KRK speakers are limited edition white. Kirby doesn't just have a sick logo, he's created a brand. His tracks, his logos, his music videos, his vlogs, his iconic glasses, his clothes, his own Planet Kirby. It's all just so cool when you put it together. To stress the importance of this, I want you to imagine yourself as a record label owner. You're getting thousands of demos a month. So what's gonna make the demo that you sign stand out? Now obviously the music that you sign of any artist is gonna have to be amazing. So let's say that you find 10 incredible tracks, all equal in their value, in their production. They all sound just as good. The problem is you only have the budget to push one artist. So who are you gonna pick? What's gonna be the deciding factor? This is really where branding comes into play. Labels wanna know if you have your stuff together or if they're gonna to have to spend time putting work in for you. So while building your brand, remember to associate yourself with things that you love and be yourself because every one of you is unique and passionate. Take that unique passion that you have and share it with the world, with your music and your brand. Maybe sitting there thinking that it's just gonna be too hard to come up with your own style like Kirby did. But did you know that Kirby only really started producing seriously a few years ago? The list of house music subgenres just keeps growing and there is no sign that it's gonna stop anytime soon. So like I said in one of my last videos, get your headphones on, get in front of your computer and start producing your future. All right guys, so who do you wanna see next? I'm definitely paying attention to your votes, so leave a comment below 
and I'll be sure to check it out. And once again, I gotta throw a thank you out to my Patreon supporters and shout out to Andy Vack. He's one of my brand new top Patreon supporters. I really appreciate it, man. You're the best. Real quick, I got a lot of comments in the last video that you guys like that 32 key mini MIDI keyboard that I was using. So I decided I'm gonna give one away to my Patreon supporters. So anyone who's a Patreon supporter is gonna be included in the online raffle that we're gonna host for the MIDI keyboard. So join now to be a part of it. Even if you can only give $1 in support, you're still gonna have a shot to win the prizes. All right, guys, I'll see you later.